Hey, 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 good morning everyone. Wednesday morning, the 7th of October 2020. This morning's devotional is a reading from the first book of Corinthians chapter 13, reading verse 7, which reads, and this is also referring to love, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. The theme for this morning is love requires costly compromise. Marriage is the art of two incompatible people learning to love and live compatibly together. Anyone who has been married for longer than 24 hours would agree that sustaining a marriage takes more than romantic feelings. It is a deep commitment of love which reaches beyond your emotions and feelings to meet the needs of another. It demands much, but its currency is not monetary. Love learns to compromise and yield, but in the end, love triumphs. Real love, not this airy fairy garbage that is promoted on Valentine's Day, is the kind that makes incompatible people compatible. Real love is patient, free of envy, not proud or boastful, does not insist on its own way. It is slow to believe wrong, yet quick to rejoice in good things. We are told in scriptures that love covers all things, meaning it covers a multitude of sins in relationship to each other. But it also does not turn a blind eye to a roaming spouse. It is very easy to abuse love and then try and wiggle our way out of the consequences of our actions by pleading love. Each choice has its own set of consequences and nobody is perfect. In order to get a better understanding of this, I would encourage you to read and reread this verse, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 7, and go through each section. In other words, love, it always protects. How does love protect? Love always trusts. How does love always trust? Love always hopes. How does love hope? Love always perseveres. How does love persevere? And we can ask ourselves many questions along that way as well. It would also be us turning to God and asking Him to open our eyes to the love that He has for each and every one of us and the love that we should have towards each other. My dear friends, we cannot say we love God whom we have not seen and then hate our brother or sister whom we have seen. Scriptures call such a person a liar. Then we can find that in 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. Let us go from here, my friends, that we can ask God, seeking His help in loving not only ourselves, but also those around us each and every day, that He would open our eyes to His great love, and so through us be able to pour out His love to those around us. My dear friends, may the Lord be with you, may He bless you, May He cause His face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.